Salutations Wet Shavers, Spencer here back for another shave video. Super excited to bring you this soap. It's been sort of in my den for quite a while. It, it was amazingly sent over by the awesome Kai Triska. Kai, if you watch this man, thank you so much. You're an absolute legend. You've done so much for me. Absolute heart of gold. If you guys haven't uh, gone onto his YouTube channel, I'm sure he'll leave a comment in there saying, hi, this is me, Kai. <laughs> Go subscribe to him. He does uh, YouTube videos as well mainly using things like this and um he was he was one of the main dudes that really helped me get into the straights so another big thank you absolutely love straight razor shaving it's gonna be really hard to uh go back to de's but all this month of september i'm gonna be doing um straight razor september and i had another eight oh ten razors that I had, so that would have been perfect, but I just sent them off to get honed, so <laughs> all of them. So I've got two razors, uh, a GD208 and this vintage electric razor, which has been my personal favorite. Um, I think this thing's absolutely wicked. So on there, it's got electric and it's written in like little wavy sort of font there. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, Newark, New Jersey. So yeah, absolutely wicked. Electric Cutlery Company. Really, really cool. But yeah, this is the soap of the day. Santa Maria del Fiore Firenze. So this is a tobacco cologne uh, from Razor Rock. I haven't tried these glass tub ones. I'm not sure if they're a different formula. It looks like it. It looks a much more simpler ingredients list. So I hope that I won't react to it because uh, I've reacted to a couple of Razor Rock soaps. What really helped was using a bowl lather, really watery, which is, you know, sort of, I've been using watery lathers lately for the past few months and I'll probably never go back. I really, really enjoy the thinner lathers that have a lot and a lot of water in them. Um, but yeah, the ingredients list, uh, it's, it's not going to focus. I'll just read it out. So we got stearic acid, water, uh, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, eucalyptus uh, globulus oil, menthol, camphor, and lanolin. So menthol in it, yes, wicked. Um, so yeah, I've shown you the soap, the razor, I'll show you the brush. It's a brush that I've not really picked up for a while and it frustrates me that I haven't. This beautiful Savaro 3324, as the stallion would say. Absolutely ridiculous silver tip. This is for me the definition of perfection for a silver tip. Um, very little backbone, super soft tips, and this coral red is a gorgeous, um, gorgeous resin, and it looks awesome on camera too. Normally, resins look absolutely terrible on uh, camera, but I think it's because it's got such a heavy contrast with the red and the white anyway. Just looks great. Brilliant. Anyway. Aftershave, Barbado. My face has never been clearer. Uh, probably the only negative to Barbado is the range of scents. You've got this one. <laughs> so it's like an orange peel. It's a, it's a really nice scent, but it's not too strong when you put it on the face. So it's not going to overpower any colognes that you put on top, uh, which for me is perfect. Um, so I'll generally put Barbado on and then just a cologne uh, as sort of like a body spray, you know? So. Anyway, we'll get on with the shave. I'll quit talking. Uh, I've been applying a hot towel to the face. Uh, I've only got just less than a day's growth. I'm only doing two pass shaves lately. Really, really good. I uh, haven't been trying against the grain with the straight yet. Uh, I'll leave that for some unrecorded shaves just so that I can really concentrate on it. Uh, oh. I've been really enjoying the hot water shaves. I've, I've been a cold water shaver for probably a year and a half. Um, only, you know, sort of recently been doing a couple of hot water shaves. And um, been really enjoying them again. So, really cool. So, wet brush, just a couple of flicks just to get the excess out. And then just start loading from the tub. It's a, it's a quite light scent from the puck. And we'll tub. Uh, so we'll see how we how we go in this. It should be pretty easy to load because it's such a it's not a um, dense soap. It's, 
not too hard. That's the word I was looking for. Um, that should be okay, I think. So I haven't used Razor Rock in quite a while, but I know that generally Razor Rock is very easy to load, very easy to ladder. Um, but the performance is normally not a, not its drop off, but where it gets left behind from uh, by artisans, uh, artisan soaps. So we'll see it. Wow. Seems very adequately slick just um, washing it off with my hands in the tap. God, this brush feels beautiful. Wow, this smells nice. Really nice. Very little scrub on the brush, but so comfortable. Such a good daily shaver for, for a brush. Just, uh, just sort of slowly putting in more, more and more water just to try and get that uber glide. That's wicked ladder. Wow. This stuff looks and feels great. Really dense. Definitely a different soap base. I can... <laughs> I'm like 80% sure it's a different soap base. Feels great. Really nice. Wow, I can, I can feel the slight cooling of the menthol. It's not strong, um, but it's definitely there. So sort of like Paraso Green. Um, so it's only very light, but as the passes go on, we'll see what happens. Got my coffee. Mm. I think I'll need the splash of this. <laughs> Feels, uh, it smells really good. All right. Awesome. Straight razors almost feel easier on the skin than a double edge. Awesome. I'm starting to feel that little bit of menthol, which is great. Feels really refreshing, really nice. Really good residual slickness. Very impressive, actually. This is very, very nice. Awesome. 
All right, gotten that top layer of stubble off. Time to give it a just a little rinse here. <laughs> For razor rock, man, this this is really good. That that residual is definitely there. Definitely there. That's awesome. Wow, very impressed. Just paint on for the second pass. Perfect. Also for you guys that um, sort of watch regularly, just, just gonna give you a quick update on the job side of things. I was originally looking for a plumbing job probably about a year and a half ago. I've been job searching for just probably a year since I finished my course. and had not found anything. So um, I've now been offered a position where they're pretty much making a job for me um, in servicing CCTV cameras, alarm systems, home automation systems. So home automation systems are your things like you got your fingerprints and um, little fingerprint sensor on a door handle and it turns lights on or uh, unlocks doors, all that sort of stuff. So real real cool sort of high tech, high tech stuff. Um, which obviously I've got zero experience in, but 100% interest. So really, really cool. Um, I did a little bit of a trial So just learning to install them and stuff first, which is a bit of fun, but um, he wants me to uh, take on sort of the servicing side of things, which is really good, because then that's more face-to-face -face sort of talking, which I like doing, as you can tell, because I keep rambling. Um, I like customer interaction. I think customer interaction is a huge way to get repeat business. And um, surveying, uh, surveying, servicing is a great way to keep re um, repeat business. So, Second pass, my thoughts. It's pretty good. Definitely doesn't feel as good as the first pass, and that that probably is. Hold on, I'm just going to fix the camera. Um, that probably is because I'm using a thinner leather, but most really high quality artisan soaps do really well uh, with a thin leather, and generally they're the tallow-based soaps. Um, Having said that, it's still doing an okay job, as you can see, running over the same spot. Um, but yeah, definitely is not doing it as well as artisan soaps. So I think with this soap, it would probably benefit more having a thicker leather, which I don't think you should have to do. I'll just remember for next time um, to use thicker lathers. But generally, with um, high-end artisan soaps, I don't need to do that. And 
doing the thinner leathers allows me more efficiency because there's less leather in the way. Um, that's just sort of my take on it. I know I'm sort of in the minority for that. I know a lot of people just like to build up big fat leathers over the first, second and third pass, but I found with high quality artisans, you don't need to. All right, we're gonna do a cold water rinse, go on to the barbado. Post shave, there isn't really one. It just feels like skin, it's not really hydrating my skin. It doesn't feel like it anyway, it sort of, it feels all right. It doesn't leave a film after the shave, so, I mean, it's sort of what I expected, more or less, from Razor Rock, so, first pass was really impressive, the light menthol was gorgeous. Uh, second pass was okay. Um, yeah, it's not going to win any awards soap base wise, but does the job, which is all it needs to do. Barbado definitely does its job. My um, my neck has never been clearer. Um, oh, I'll still use obviously other post product, um, especially when it comes to like matching splashes and stuff like that, but. This is my go-to, and especially if I've had a bad shave or something that, um, the day before, I'll always use this afterwards. Um, just to really sort of clear up the skin because it does such an incredible job at that. Um, absolutely wonderful. I love Barbado. Incredible. Ah, and orange peel. Never really sort of gets old. <laughs> I quite like it. Just gonna rinse out the tub, gonna be really careful not to drop it. Um, the label seem water, waterproof for people that care, um, but the label is not on straight and it doesn't taste great. So Chris, don't even think about buying the soap, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's got that little flappy bit there, Chris, and the label is a little bit off so yeah that's that's Chris's review for you <laughs> awesome we'll just rinse the brush out now go through what we went uh, what we used today and I'll be out of here off to my existing job <laughs> don't get me wrong I still I still love my job um, at the cafe but once you sort of realize that you got another job out there, it's hard that you see, you start point, um, finding sort of all the, all the poor points in the job that you've already got once uh, you've got an awesome job lined up. Gorgeous tips on this brush, by the way. Savile Row, incredible. If your country doesn't sell Savile Row like mine, just get a Shave Mac, they're made by the same people. Beautiful. Absolutely love the tips. They're quite jelly, which is awesome. And uh, I've only had a couple of uses on this. So they're only gonna get better. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous bit of hair. Savile Row, stunning. So we use that. Razor Rock, Santa Maria del Fiore, Firenze. Awesome. Uh, I love the scent. I'll, I'll, I will definitely use this again because I love the scent. I'll, I'll just remember to do thicker lather on the uh, second pass. Um, this electric razor performed great. I'm thinking about trying doing... Not doing daily shaves. Trying to do a shave every second or third day. Um... I don't know, I just whenever I get up in the morning, I just want to shave. And whenever I watch shave videos, I want to shave. Um, and I, I don't like the feeling. Uh, it gets really itchy for me. So for me, daily shaving's always been the perfect way, but maybe something I want to give a go. So we'll see how we go. Maybe I'll see you in a couple of days with some substantial facial hair growth. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, you take care. Stay safe. Uh, stay positive. Keep smiling. See you guys in the next video.
see ya.